Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're playing with paper airplanes and our goal is to make a paper airplane that can fly far and fast. To do that we're going to come up with two different paper airplane designs and three different launchers. So let's gather up our supplies. And now we're going to make plane design number one. So we're starting with a standard sheet of paper and we're going to fold it in half. Now grab each corner and fold it into the center line. You want to make sure you get really nice crisp edges whenever you're making paper airplanes. Those crisp edges help to fly more smoothly and reduce drag. Now grab each side and fold it into the center line here to create a really nice sharp point. You want really aerodynamic on this. Now fold it over so you've got it nicely in half and then grab each side and fold it down to create your wings. Now another tip here is to make sure that when you fold your wings and you open it back up again that they're angled up. This helps with stability when flying. Go. We're going to do the second side. Make sure all those edges are nice and crisp. And there we go. That's our first airplane. Now let's do the second airplane design. Once again, we're going to grab a standard sheet of craft paper and we're going to fold it in half. one side and bring that corner up. This time we're folding out. You'll notice we're keeping the paper folded in half. Now do the other side. Now open it up so you've got those folded edges up. And then we're going to grab that triangle that we made at the bottom and we're going to fold it up onto the center line. So we make a nice square shape. Now grab each corner and we're going to fold it in just so the point comes in. You'll notice we're at a little bit of an oblique angle here. We want those two points to come in and touch on that center line and that will leave us a little flat edge on the nose. Now grab that little triangle that's popping out of the top there and fold that in. Now each side, grab the side and bring it up. And we're going to grab the other side and fold it up along the center line there. Look at those nice crisp edges. Now flip it over and then fold again and then open it up and again remember try and get those wings so that they're up a little bit just to help with your stability. Now let's make the launchers. We're going to start by making a launcher out of cardstock. You could also do this with cardboard. You just need to make sure you score the cardboard so you can fold it. We're going to measure here because we want to cut it to size and we want our launcher to be 21 centimeters by 24 centimeters. So we're just going to cut it right here. fold it in half. Once again we want nice sharp edges there. Now turn it and fold again to make a quarter. And then fold it over again and make another quarter fold. And then grab each side and fold it up half again. And with the pencil there we just marked the halfway point so we could keep track of where we wanted to do our fold. There we go, look at that. And then we open it up. We've got a nice little kind of xylophone shape. Now we're going to take an elastic and we're just attaching it with a stapler. Super easy. Stick around. And there we go. You can see we've made a nice little trench there for the uh, paper airplane to sit in. Now, another way that we can make launchers very simply is using elastics. So, the first way you can do this is by making a little notch in your design. So, here we're using paper airplane design number two, and we're just marking in a couple of centimeters and then we're going to make a little notch with our scissors. 
So you see we made like a little triangle there. And then you can just take your elastic, attach it, and use that to help you launch. And you can see there, this is how you would hold it on your fingers. So you want it around your thumb and your first three fingers, and then you make like a little slingshot. Works perfect. Now we're gonna do another idea. This one's easier if you've got younger kids. We're gonna make a hole with a hole punch. So here we go, let's watch them fly. Look at that go. So that was using our cardboard launcher. And there is using our notch with an elastic. And finally, here's one with the hole. Nice. Look at how far they flew. Making paper airplanes is a wonderful way to play with engineering, physics, and STEM. Visit steampiredfamily.com to get more STEM activities and more details on building your own paper airplanes. Have fun playing and learning.